Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some experience design goodness. And today's goodness is an exploration of time in experience design. Moving between screens in experience design is really quite interesting because it takes time. And we have a lot of choice available to us, but the thing is, how much time is proper? One of the more common questions I'm asked is, how long should something take? And my answer is always, however long you think it should take. But when it comes to working with experience design, we work with transitions, for, so we move from screen to screen. And that means that we have to be very aware of how long it takes to move. So let's take a look at how time works. So I'm just gonna select this sign in button here. And I wanna move from this screen to this screen and then from here back. So the first thing I wanna do is just uh, add the interactivity. And I'm going to choose an artboard. So I'll just go to the login artboard. And I wanna move in left and ease the easing. We got three little easing equations here, ease out. This is sort of slowing down as it comes to the end of the motion, uh, speeding up as it moves through the motion and speeding up and slowing down, or just none, which is basically pop in, pop out. So I'm gonna go with the knees out because the screen is gonna sort of slide in. Now, you get all kinds of timing here, and this is where it gets really interesting. What's the proper number? Well, the proper number is, how, as I said, however long you want it to be. But the problem is, is that sometimes it's a little too quick. For instance, let's cho choose 0.2 seconds. So we're looking at, you know, 200, one two hundredth of a second. So if I uh, come up to preview mode here and sign in, you see it's fairly quick. So what about if we come back to here, and this time we're going to change it to one second because you think well you know the average person thinks one second's nothing well let's see how all that works so again we're going to go to the preview we'll sign in there's 0.2 seconds and here's one second it's an eternity so what's the proper number well the proper number is really anything between these two right here between 0.4 and 0.6 seconds and the other thing that you can do here is you can just say, look, I don't want one of those numbers. I want to make it a half second. So we'll make that 0.5. And let's see how all that works. So we're going to make it a half second to move from one screen to the other. Not bad. And there's that one second again. So we're going to take this one and we're going to change it. We're going to change it to 0.4 seconds. So we'll sign in, that's 0.5 seconds, 0.4 seconds. You see, it's a little bit quicker. And it really comes down to what you're more comfortable with. But my advice to anybody that's working with transitions is don't go fast. This is your range right here between 4 and 0 0.6, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 seconds. Uh, anything other than that is fairly long. So there you go, there's working with time in experience design.